One of the coolest Polar Express items that Lionel has released is the O-Gauge Trolley. In this video, I'm going to unbox my new trolley. And before the end of the video, I'm going to get it up and running on my layout, starting right away. Hi, my name is Owen. In these videos, I'm continuing to build and expand my O-Gauge Polar Express model train layout. Be sure to stick around till the end of this video to see my new trolley running on the layout. Now would be a great time to hit the subscribe button below so that you don't miss any of the upcoming videos while we continue to build and expand. I bought this new Polar Express trolley from Grzeboski's train store in Musick, Pennsylvania. It was shipped quickly and it arrived in good shape. The packaging looks good. Also, they had the best price that I could find at the time. And they also showed the shipping charges right up front. That's not true for everybody that I buy from online. And I really appreciate retailers that are up front with their shipping charges. I'm going to include a link to Grzeboski's train store down below so you can catch on to that if you'd like to. Lionel refers to this as a Bernie trolley. So what's a Bernie trolley? Well, a Bernie car or a Bernie safety car is a type of trolley that was originally built in the United States between about 1915 and 1930. They're small, lightweight trolleys built on a single truck. To learn more about Bernie trolleys, I'm going to include a link down below to the Wikipedia article on them. They're named after their inventor. I'm also going to include a link to the McKinney Avenue Transit Authority article in Wikipedia. That has a number of pictures of Bernie streetcars because McKinney Avenue Transit Authority is continuing to operate Bernie streetcars even today. Now, on to the unboxing. This is reflecting what it says in the advertisements for the set. Record your own voice for trolley stop announcements. Uh, trolley stop announcement, fast track included. And the picture actually looks pretty cool there. Uh, we'll see how she looks when we get her out. There we go. The top off. And we've got some uh, promotional material in there that we'll set aside for the moment. And look at what we have. Okay, this is also uh, pretty well sealed and protected in here. This is the actual trolley car. You can see that? There's just one truck under that trolley with the wheels on it. That's pretty cool. That's pretty authentic. And uh, the top here, we'll put these up. There we go. So now we can uh, get hold of the uh, electrical supply with that, and that would work. Put that aside. It says uh, that we get two of these earthen berms. That's for the uh, end of the rail, end of the line. We've got the <coughs> terminal section here that uh, plugs in to the control unit. And we've got the announcement track, which you could actually see if I show you really close here, maybe this is, would be like uh, where the announcement comes out apparently and there's the push record buttons. So we'll get that figured out once we read the directions. And then we've got the four straight sections that it told us we'd get. Four straight sections. Um, th this is the wall power supply. This is not a transformer, it's just a power pack that plugs into the wall. Uh, to con convert this from uh, AC to DC surf uh, current to operate it. And then here is the actual control unit. So this is kind of like an old hobby set uh, control unit that they made on some of their ready-to-run train sets several years ago at Lionel, uh, quite a few years back actually. And we've got a spare traction tire in here. You can see this. 
This is a spare traction tire for the trolley. And let's double check and make sure. Yeah, it's got one traction tire on here right now, so there's a spare for that as well. Uh, if you're doing a lot of going up and down grades, you can really run through those in a hurry, but we're not going to be doing too many grades on this, I don't think. So that's it. Uh, I have to say that's pretty cool looking. Uh, you got the uh, uh, people inside, and you got Santa. Uh, driving the trolley car that's pretty cool so there's a, actually there's a Santa motorman on each end um, one of the uh, things about these trolleys cars these Brittany trolley cars from the old days when they made them they made them to operate with just a motorman instead of having a motorman and a conductor as was usually uh, necessary so that made them a, a lot less expensive to operate and the door was right here by where the motorman uh, sat so when you came in you make sure you paid your fare so I'm pretty pleased with that that's what it looks like next step we're going to go ahead and get that set up on the layout and get it operating hang around stick around you'll want to see it running well I've got the trolley set up and running it's not screwed down and fastened down the way it's going to be eventually but it's in approximately the right place and it's working and I wanted to be, show you that before we end this video So there you have it. It stops, makes the announcement, starts up again, runs the other end, reverses direction, and does it over again. You can extend this line further if you choose to by adding more fast track sections. I've got a couple of more fast track sections on here than what it came with. Please uh, click the subscribe and subscribe to these videos so you can catch all of them as they come out. And click the thumbs up down below and like the video if you would, please. As always, I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.